First of all, uh, the glass dream has never gone away, right? I, I think we are working very hard on it. In fact, there were many things which we worked on which quite didn't work because AI wasn't fully there, right? But now that you truly have, uh, you know, seamless AI with intuitive interfaces for people, be it voice, gestures, vision, etc., the multimodality of AI, I, Google Glass is going to be back and I think it's going to be great. That is what Sundar Pichai just said, and it got me thinking, are glasses the next big thing to light up the tech world? Because it wasn't nostalgia, it was a signal. The glasses era is back, and this time it's powered by AI. At Connect, uh, we announced our 2025 line of AI glasses, and the response so far has been great. They sold out in... Uh, almost every store within 48 hours. Across the world, tech giants are racing to put intelligence on your face, not in your pocket. Devices that could one day replace your smartphone and redefine how we see, how we work, and how we live. Every major player, Google, Meta, Samsung, Apple, Xiaomi, Reliance, Lenscott, is chasing the same vision to make technology disappear into something as natural as what we wear. And this isn't just about fashion or convenience. It's about access, it's about healthcare, it's about education, and it's about connection. But there's one person who doesn't share this excitement. This is Sam Altman. No, absolutely not. I don't like smart glasses. Moments later though, he admitted that smartphones and computers aren't ideal for the future of AI. And OpenAI is already working on the next generation hardware that's ambiently aware. Now you ask why AI glasses? For years, we've carried smartphones in our pockets and looked at our smartwatches on our wrists. But many believe those form factors may no longer be enough for the next wave of AI. Because what good is intelligence if you always have to look away from what matters? Glasses are the only form factor where AI can see what you see, hear what you hear, and soon generate whatever AI you need right in your own vision. That's what Mark Zuckerberg said. Glasses sit at the intersection of fashion and technology, stylish, wearable, and invisible. They bring computing into your world not away from it. And their purpose now goes far beyond entertainment or convenience. AI glasses are being designed to transform healthcare, education, assistive technology, navigation, and even logistics. It's helping doctors, it's helping delivery agents, and people with disabilities work and live more independently. And the market numbers prove that it's not hype. In 2024, the global smart glasses market was estimated to be about $2 billion and it's projected to reach $8 billion by 2030. Another estimate put it at half that, but still the numbers are huge. What are some of the key features that are powering this AI glasses boom? First and foremost, it's the camera, which captures the real world scenes for instant analysis and sharing. Number two, navigation, provides live, hands-free direction. Number three, language translation, translates conversation in real time. Number four, image recognition, it identifies objects, texts, and environment. And number five is productivity, it can manage your calls, your meetings, your reminders, all hands-free. This isn't just a gadget trend, it's a platform shift where AI, optics, and connectivity merge into the most natural interface ever built, your own vision. That's why the biggest players are planning. Let's start with the players that have already launched AI classes. First is Meta, the lifestyle trendsetter. Even though the big reveal demo had a few glitches, Mark Zuckerberg is very bullish on AI classes. In fact, so bullish, he's already put $3 billion behind this bet. He's taken equity in the parent company of Ray-Ban and Oakley. 
Together, they launched the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. They look stylishly normal, but hide serious tech inside. A 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with video capture and Meta AI voice assistants that can answer questions, take call, play music, and live stream to Instagram or Facebook. The work that on Ray-Ban Meta and the Oakley Meta uh, products is going very well. Um, I, I think, yeah, I mean, at some point, if, if these continue going as well as it, as it has been, then, um, then I think it will be a, a very profitable investment. I think that there's, there's some um, revenue that we get from, from basically selling the devices and then some that will come from additional services and from the AI on top of it. So I think that there's a big opportunity. Um, certainly Bottom line, Meta isn't selling a gadget. It's selling the future on your face. A bridge between fashion, function and the AI companion era. Next, you've got the Chinese players where scale meets speed. While Silicon Valley builds for lifestyle, China builds for the massive. Two of its biggest forces, Xiaomi and Baidu, are already in. Let's talk about Xiaomi, the everyday AI glasses. They launched their glasses in June of 2025 at $300. They translate speech, they record 2K video, it recognizes objects and it handles QR payments hands-free. They also feature a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera gesture controls eight hour batteries and optional electrochromic lenses bottom line meta sells aspiration xiaomi sells accessibility and that may win asia then you've got baidu which is trying to put intelligence in your vision in 2025 baidu unveiled their smart classes, which were powered by the Ernie bot. They provide real-time translation, augmented reality search overlays, and contextual understanding. A conversation with the internet without a screen. Bottom line, Baidu is building its AI brain into a visual companion. China's Gemini on your face. Once it was a smartphone giant, HTC is reinventing itself. Its Vive Eagle focuses on translation, meetings, captions, and calls. It's for work, it's for travel and presentation. Bottom line, HTC's bet is simple. When AI goes to the office, it won't sit on your desk, it will sit on your face. Now the companies that are planning the next wave. Not every player has launched. Some are quietly building what comes next. We've got first and foremost Google with Warby Parker, the return of the glass street, which never really went away and it finally makes sense. In May 2025, Google announced a partnership with Warby Parker to co-develop AI-powered smart glasses on their Android platform. Google committed $150 million, half for development, half as equity. Expect on-device Gemini AI, translation, navigation, and contextual vision inside the designer frames. Google started the dream with AI, and it might finally deliver it. In 2024, Samsung confirmed a three-way alliance with Google, Qualcomm, for Galaxy Glass, which would be powered by Snapdragon. Think of it as a bridge between your Galaxy phone, your watch, earbuds, augmented reality overlays, spatial awareness, and hands-free productivity. Samsung isn't chasing luxury, it's chasing integration, the ecosystem advantage. And now you've got the Indian players building for Bharat. India is no longer watching. Reliance Geo and Lenskart are leading the charge with two distinct approaches. Let's talk about Reliance Geo, AI for the people. In the August 2025 AGM, Reliance unveiled Geo frames, built for Indian realities, multilingual voice translation, video calls, health tracking, and all connected to Geo AI assistant and apps. It was lightweight, affordable, and built for daily use. 
Geo isn't making a gadget. It's building India's digital bridge to AI and its telecom network. Then you've got Lenskart, where fashion meets function. From eyewear retail to AI wearables, Lenskart is quietly testing AI smart glasses in its pilot stores. The features include head tracking, gesture recognition, and audio integrated lenses for notification and voice commands. And how could we have this conversation without Apple, the stealth operator? Apple has paused its next Vision Pro to focus on the N50 AI smart glasses, a lightweight iPhone companion with real-time translation, contextual assistance, and on-device Apple intelligence. The full augmented reality model is expected in 2027. The bottom line is Apple won't be the first, but it will make smart glasses feel inevitable and something you want on your face. Let's look into the future from Silicon Valley to Seoul, from Shenzhen to Bengaluru. The race for AI classes is real and revolutionary, but together they share a single idea that intelligence should live around you, not inside a screen. The age of AI wearables won't be about looking down at devices. It will be about looking up at possibilities. So whether you wear Meta's Ray-Bans, GeoFrames or Apple's future lenses, remember, this isn't the next gadget, it's the next platform, because the future of AI might just be something you wear.